Good morning, my friend, my dear old friend. How are you doing? Welcome to today's drive. The drive. Good morning. Yes, it is the drive, and we are back every day, Monday through Friday. Good to see you with us, of course. And by the way, just remind you, not like you need reminding, because surely you've done it by now, but if you're watching us here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the juicy goodness. We've got a big announcement coming up next, in the next couple of weeks, some changes are gonna be happening, and you do not, you do not want to miss out on those. So make sure you turn on notifications as well, my friend. So today, what day is it, is it Friday? Woo, it's Friday. Is it Friday? <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it's Friday. If it's not Friday, then what the heck? Some of you are gonna be celebrating with me prematurely for the end of your weekday. Me, every day is a good day. Every day is the same in the sense of, it really doesn't matter what day it is to me. I stopped caring what day it was uh, not too long after I stopped working at the construction company all those years ago. <laughs> um, every day is a glorious day. Every day is my day to own. And that's how I kind of view it. Whether it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. And that's how, uh, that's how everybody should be living their lives. Doing something they enjoy so it doesn't matter what day it is. Okay, whether it's the weekend or a weekday, do something you're passionate about. So, a bit of a weekly roundup. I know a lot of times on Friday, uh, I would be in the office doing a bit of a weekly recap, but you know what? I didn't know it was Friday until just a second ago when I thought about it. And so here I am in the car doing the drive on the way to Inset Profits HQ. And so, let me give you a bit of a lowdown as to what's been happening this week. This week, uh, there's a lot been happening, you know? We have, um, I've put a lot of my attention this week into what we're calling the best webinar ever. Especially if you are an affiliate marketer with an audience in the internet marketing space. If you have a list and an audience of people that are looking to or are starting or growing an online based business. What we're about to come out with next month is going to blow out the water anything you have ever promoted or been involved with in the past. We have put our blood, sweat and tears into this. The first time we did this webinar campaign, we only did it with a handful of people. I'm talking less than five, and it generated millions of dollars. Okay, some of those people, well, um, anywhere from about 50-ish thousand up to 600 plus thousand dollars. Um, so it's pretty uh, pretty exciting that we kind of took that away, evolved it, consulted with some of the best of the best, like Russell Brunson's been helping with it and advising me on it, and um, we've bought the, some of the best campaign scripters in um, that are about to start, start working on this stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of been a major focus of the week. But... Um, <laughs> You know me well enough by now, you know that I do a lot. We get a lot done here at Internet Profits, and so uh, that's just been the main thing. And I think there's a lesson in that, right? Um, and I mentioned this briefly the other day, that you need to think about each day and each week, like what is the big thing that if I get done today or this week is going to make the biggest impact in my industry and in my business? So for me, I know this webinar that we've been focused on heavily this week is going to make tens of millions of dollars, directly and indirectly. Going to be responsible for tens of millions of dollars. Okay, over the next 12 months alone, 10 plus million dollars is the goal. <clears throat> and um, so what is that? Is that one of the biggest and most profitable and best impactful things I could do this week? Yes. You know, whilst most people, or not most people, but whilst a lot of people would be doing things like, oh, I, you know, I, I got stuck this week on a, on a technical glitch or with my autoresponder or I was trying to figure something out with 
an email or I was trying to fix my blog or I was trying to do this or that and just a whole week's gone by like and how did your business drive forward so I didn't but I had to fix this thing like did you like does fixing it have a massive impact in your business like does it really that's what you got to look at like you have to look at these things. Now, I'm not suggesting like, oh, my thing's broken, I'm gonna leave it. But no, if it's going to take you a week and somebody could be outsourced on, say, Upwork to do that thing in a day for $50, like, what makes sense? Spend a week, you trying to figure it? Spend $50, you know what I mean? You gotta weigh these things up and make sure that, like, work with the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of your time on the most impactful, profitable income producing activities make sure you've got that ratio 20% that can go into fixing all the crap or doing those little other bits okay make sure that's the case uh, I've also been actually creating a case study this week of a free traffic generation system um, for our certified partners you know a lot of people want to start out or feel more comfortable starting out with with uh, free traffic overpaid of course we uh, always make the important point there is no such thing as free traffic but nonetheless it gets put into the free traffic category right my eye is itching I've got allergies at the moment really bad because of uh, hay fever I live in the country I suffer at this time of year um, so yeah, we've been doing a case study, a live case study, something that is getting me, you know, has been able to get me customers, um, you know, every day for free for the last few days since I started it. And uh, we've been documenting the process, something that anybody can do. It's basically a, 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 an attraction marketing strategy. And so, um, yeah, we've been doing that as well, as well as tons of other stuff. But like I say, I think that is my biggest piece of advice for you for today, and maybe even the week. Make sure you're spending 80%, at least 80% of your time on the tasks and the things in your business that have the most impact on your income and impact in your industry. If you're not, then you're, then you're focused on the wrong areas. If you can't look at what you did this week and say, right, these things, most of the stuff I did this week is having a direct impact on my results and my income, then you've got to change it. And that's for you to review and take that responsibility of your business. This weekend, have a look at it. Say, right, what did I spend the last five, six, seven days doing in my business and how did it impact my results? Okay, and if you say, well, Actually, I haven't impacted my results in any way because most of this week was taken up on that stupid uh, technical thing that I got stuck on and hung up on uh, this week. Then you've got to think like, how do I make sure that doesn't happen again, right? And we ha we live in this glorious world where you can find anyone to do anything for your business. Um, we use Upwork a lot. Um, to be able to advertise stuff that we need doing and find someone. We also use, for small tasks and certain things, Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. You know, we use them for all kinds of things, little techie things, voiceover stuff. Um, so you can find the people. Don't waste your time. Time is something you can't get back. You can win your time by spending some money. That's how life needs to be thought about as an entrepreneur. What is going to cost me more? my time or my money so with that said thank you for watching us and joining us here on today's drive of course again don't be a fool subscribe to the family smash that button if you're here on YouTube with that said I'm here time to jump in round the week up with a bang I'm actually going to a wedding later on today so I'll only be in here uh, kind of for a piece of the day before I take off to go uh, to a friend's wedding later on today so with that said I will, of course, see you back next week. Thank you for watching The Drive. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>